What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Today I'm coming to you guys to ask for a little bit of help. I don't know what the deal is, but it seems like this channel and my second channel have been completely shadow banned once again by YouTube. I've been getting a lot of comments saying that my videos are not showing up in sub boxes and they're not getting notifications for people who have notifications turned on. I don't know what the issue is, but this is not the first time this has happened. So my plan is just to sort of hope that it goes away. If I just stay consistent and keep posting, I hope you guys are getting the videos and hopefully you're enjoying them. I've been putting a lot of work into some of these bigger projects and it's pretty demotivating when only a small, small fraction of you guys get to watch them and comment on them and like them. Engagement overall is down, but this isn't a pity party. I just wanted to sort of put that out there and then to ask for your help. I want to know what you guys want to see specifically. Typically, I've just been sort of making videos that I'm interested in making, which I'm going to continue to do, but I want to know firsthand what you guys want to see here on this channel. Whether it's more adventures in the sat van, whether it's more motorcycle, razor, off-road type of videos. Right now, I just have like razor parts scattered all over the van. And then of course, I can still do a lot of knife reviews, EDC gear reviews and stuff like that. I just wanna know specifically for those of you who one, got this video in your subscription box and two, somehow found the video and are watching it. What do you want to see specifically here next on the channel? I have a few projects coming up that involve some traveling. I'm actually gonna be parking the sat van for a little while and I'm going to be flying to Florida. You guys will probably see that in the next video. I also changed up my schedule at the start of this new year. I went from three videos a week to two videos a week, hoping that that would increase engagement, more people would watch the videos. And that didn't seem to help, so maybe I transitioned to one video a week? I don't know. Let me know what you guys wanna see, how often you wanna see new videos, and I will try to accommodate and hope that this sort of shadow ban gets lifted. For those of you who are interested, the way I sort of check to see if this is actually a thing, it definitely is a thing on YouTube, but I logged out of my YouTube account and then just did a general search of some of my recent videos and they don't pop up in the top results. So it's definitely algorithmic. The algorithm is just sort of pressing their thumb down on me. So it's demotivating, but we're not going to stop with videos because I love making videos and I hope you guys still enjoy them. Now I started this question already over on Patreon. I asked everyone what they wanted to see. I let them vote with the fire emojis and it turned out that you guys just want to see daily vlogs. So if Patreon speaks for a majority of the audience who is watching this video, then we're just gonna have a daily vlog today. I don't really have anywhere to go in the van, which is why I'm just sort of sitting here in the parking lot, but I did make some progress on the Psy Productions studio, office, whatever you wanna call it. So it's at a point now where I think it's pretty cool. It's nothing really to write home about. It's just a little office workspace where I can film and have everything that I need to make the videos that I make all in one place. So I figured I'd give you guys just a little bit of a tour today. So here we have the tiny little entryway. This entire office is really not all that big, but I sort of broke it up into different sections that serve different purposes. Two of them mainly for filming and having like a little bit of a backdrop and then the other stuff is just for storage and keeping things nice and organized. So right when you walk in, this is where I have some nice grass installed to match the sat van and this is like the garage area where I keep all of my electric skateboards, electric vehicles. Typically I have both of my one wheels here, but they are out in the van right now. And then I have another board over here that my friend is currently testing. And these are all the electric skateboards I own now, which is not that many. I've offloaded a lot because I just don't need so many boards. I don't know how detailed you want to get here, but I have my regular Revive deck, Bamboo GTX, Santa Cruz deck, Buzz Bomb, Metro board, OG 
OG OG boosted board. I bought this thing like right when I started my YouTube channel. And then a Backfire All-Terrain and the Inertion Raptor. That thing is scary. I put up this coat rack right here because I have a jacket problem. Not only do I buy a lot of jackets and own a lot of jackets, but a lot of people send me new stuff to test out. Like Freedom Industries sent me a bunch of different jackets. I should actually probably give some away to you guys because I have so many. I'll probably do that over on Patreon. This is a new jacket too. This one is coming from Lazy Rolling. These are Kevlar lined jackets and they're made for electric skateboarding. That way if you fall and take a slide, you're not gonna rip up your skin. You can also put pads in them. I've done a video on unboxing some of these in the past, like two years ago, but this is a newer one, super reflective. And maybe I'll do a full dedicated video on these because they're really cool. They sent me a pair of pants too. I got this photo over here too. I like Rick and Morty, so does Ashley, my girlfriend, so she got that made for me a little while ago. Look at that. Sunday gun day, baby. Over on the left side of the entryway, I have this like makeshift storage device that I made. They're like two bookcases and I sort of stapled them together. Got a bunch of storage here for electric skateboard parts and just like random office type of supplies. This is my free section. Got free hats from the old store, which are not for sale anymore, but got those for anyone who visits. Patches, helmets, all sorts of stuff like that. And then right next to that, I have this custom ski board rack that I made out of some trees that we cut down in my family's backyard. I made this thing back in high school and it's just simply holding all of my ski boards. I still have a Stuff and Things Revelate collab board here, still in the cellophane. I'm probably gonna do that with all of my boards. That's pretty much it for right here. Now moving on to this area right here where you've seen me film my last couple of videos. I still have my workbench, which used to be my backdrop for a while. I've actually gotten a lot of questions about this, so I guess I can give you guys a brief rundown of where I got this thing and how I have it set up. So this is simply a Husky workbench that I got at Home Depot. I don't have a whole lot of tools in here because I keep most of my tools in my van, but I do have a lot of tools for filmmaking, batteries, chargers, microphones, and then there are a few tools in the mix here, but I basically have this thing loaded out with things that I show in video. EDC drawer. I'm sure a lot of people would be excited about a lot of the stuff in here. Whenever I'm done testing EDC items, if I don't give them away to a friend, they end up in a drawer like this. Next drawer, some more EDC stuff, Hanks and fixed blades that don't fit in my knife box and some more stuff cards i just have a whole lot of stuff and things in here this is all just like fastener little batteries tools sort of like a junk drawer and then down here got some power tools it's just a random mess of stuff i have a lens that i've been trying to sell forever over here got some more power tools in there drone microphone for the podcast which haven't done in a while. And then over on this side, I keep paperwork and a lot of other random things. Up above my workbench, I have this cool neon sign, which was a gift from my friend Roger. Thanks, dude. Dopest vlog in the game. And I just have a bunch of random show stuff up here. Whiskey. I really like whiskey and I want this whole thing to be filled. I'm sort of starting like a makeshift bar. Are you guys into whiskey videos? I don't know. Maybe I can bring you guys some whiskey content in the future. So besides the workbench itself and everything that I have on it and in it, the only things that I added to make it a little bit cooler are the LED lights behind it, which you can see change colors from green to purple to red, whatever. It's just like a RGB strip that I found on Amazon. And then I also found this motion light underneath there off, swipe your hand under and it turns back on. That thing is dimmable too. You can find it on Amazon. And if I can find where I bought them, I'll leave some links in the description down below. Now the actual back part of the workbench came with it. We're not gonna talk about what's on there. We're not gonna talk about what's over here in the corner either because I don't need my channel to be more shadow banned than it already is. 
Now over here is sort of my like random to go pile. I have skateboards that I occasionally throw in the van. My mountain bike, Specialized Turbo Levo, that goes in the van occasionally too, as well as the slider that mounts in the back. And then I have some more razor parts here. And this package came yesterday to my office. I have no idea who has this address or who sent me hubcaps for a vehicle that I don't even own because none of my vehicles have steelies where I can mount hubcaps. I don't know, but I got four hubcaps sent to me yesterday and I have no idea who sent them. Anyway, we have a ton of natural light in here. Big old windows, which I'm a huge fan of. I don't really need any extra lighting in here while I'm filming because as you can see, this is pretty well lit. Right here, I have a little bar top table, and in the middle of it, I have a Chia Pet Rick. I haven't started growing Chia Rick yet because I'm gonna be leaving for a week when I'm in Florida. But once I come back, I'm gonna start growing Chia Rick, and then I'm gonna give you guys updates over on Instagram. Now over here, I have sort of like a living room setup, just a place to kind of chill, watch TV, play video games. Got a lot of old consoles over here, which is a huge plus. This is actually all my old furniture from when I was an IT consultant and I was traveling, moving from city to city or state to state every like six to nine months. So all this furniture has been all over the country and now I think it's finally found its final resting place here in the office studio. Got some more random stuff like my Jackson Dinky positioned right next to the couch so you can have a little jam sesh if you want. Do you guys wanna see guitar covers, metal covers? Probably not. And then probably my favorite thing in the studio, the love sack. I opened this thing up, oh man, years ago when I lived in New Jersey. And when I moved from New Jersey, I had to vacuum suck out all of the air put in a giant bag and it's been in storage in a garage since then. I haven't opened this thing up in like three years and the past couple of days I've really been enjoying this thing back inflated to its full potential. Super comfortable. I can definitely foresee myself spending a lot of time right here in the love sack. Right above the love sack is a patch board. These are a lot of patches that were sent to me or I picked up at trade shows and if you ever gave me a patch, chances are you can find yourself on here somewhere. I actually need a bigger one of these because it doesn't fit my entire patch collection. I could probably use like four of these. Maybe this entire wall could be filled with patches. So if you don't see your patch on here, don't worry. I don't get rid of patches. I don't throw them out or trade them or anything. I have them stored away somewhere. So that is my mini patch wall. I definitely plan on expanding that a little bit. I also have this wall art over here, which someone sent me in a mail time video a while ago. Got a little dinged up while transporting it, but still looks cool. And then speaking of whiskey, I got a, a whiskey set that my girlfriend got me. TS laser etched into the glasses. I'll probably end up using this thing as sort of like an infinity bottle in the future. Still got the big old sectional couch, which you guys have seen a million times in my previous videos. And right behind me here, I made a little whiteboard, which I can keep track of different tasks that I'm working on during the week. Now the living room area is great and all, but how about what's underneath the TV over here? This is, I think like an 82 inch sharp TV. I've had this thing for a long time now. Fire it up. Eh, there we go. Just got the new Spyro game on the Switch. Now I'm not a huge gamer, but I do have a lot of older consoles down here. I have my Nintendo Switch, Nintendo GameCube, Game Boy Color, original Xbox, PlayStation 1, Sega Genesis, Xbox 360, and I do have an Xbox One, but that's about as new as the generations of console that I own get. Up here, I've got a ton of games. For those of you who are into video games, a bunch of Switch games, a lot of Mario stuff, and then a ton of Sega Genesis games. These are stacked like three deep, I believe. So got a lot of selection to pick from there. Games like this can get really distracting. So might not be the best thing to have in an office, but sure is cool. And now finally moving over to my desk. This is probably my favorite thing in my office, I spend so much time here editing videos, answering emails, doing typical work stuff. 
Conveniently located right next to it, I have a mini fridge, which I just picked up. Got a lot of energy drinks, water, stuff like that in there. And on top of it, I have the Jägermeister tap machine, which I have not unboxed since Miami. That thing is not loaded up. I don't know if it will ever be loaded up, but it sure does look cool as sort of a talking piece in the office. I've got a gaming laptop, Bluetooth speaker, just random work stuff around here. I've got a lot of storage behind me where I'm just sort of keeping stuff temporarily until I have a bigger space to put everything in, but this office is just sort of a stepping stone until I get into something a little bit bigger and a little bit more suited for doing what I do here on YouTube. Now this desk is really cool, but I haven't even shown you the coolest part yet. If I hit this button here, this thing holds like 250 pounds or something like that, and it's a stand-up desk. Since I spend so much time editing, answering emails and everything like that, I decided I want to be a little bit healthier and pick up a standing desk, so I got this thing from the stand-up desk store someplace online. It took a while until it was in stock and then to be delivered and set up and everything, but I'm super stoked on the desk. It's like a mega desk from the office. I would say other than the love sack, this is probably my favorite thing in the office. So that has been a quick rundown of Psy Productions Studio, just my office, whatever you wanna call it. And this is where I've been coming every day to work, to film videos, to answer emails, take phone calls, meetings, and just to do all of the stuff that I've been doing out of the van for the past like year and a half. I can't even begin to tell you guys how thankful I am to be at a point where I can have my own space like this to only focus on creative things in the space. I come here, I have my camera already set up, lighting is pretty much perfect, I don't have to do a whole lot, and then I have everything that I showcase on my channel all in one spot, so I'm never really unprepared for a video. I'm extremely happy with the space for now, but I think in the future I would like to upgrade to something, possibly with a garage where I could park some of my vehicles. But this is still fairly new to me. I think we're a long ways out until that happens, but I'm definitely looking forward to when and if that happens in the future. So I guess that's it for a daily vlog. I have a meeting in a little bit. I got some videos to edit and hopefully this was cool for you guys who support the channel on Patreon. Again, I don't know who is seeing these videos, if anyone is seeing the videos, but if you are watching and you watch to the end, I'd really appreciate it. If you left a comment, left a like, let me know what you guys wanna see next here on the channel and I will absolutely make it happen here in the next couple of days. So that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the office tour. If you're new here, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week, as always. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.